गुड गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत और बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन आप सभी देख रहे हैं सी आई टी एन सी आर टी का हमारा लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सत्र और इसमें हम आज लेके आए हैं कक्षा दस के लिए साइंस का सब्जेक्ट और चैप्टर है चैप्टर फोर कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड ये चैप्टर हम पढ़ेंगे इसका पार्ट सेकेंड है ये और हम बता देते हैं इसमें क्या पढ़ेंगे फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स एंड होमोलोजस सीरीज के बारे में बताएंगे हमारी आज की एक्सपर्ट और हमारी आज की एक्सपर्ट हैं मिसेस प्रीति गोयल मैम मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत नमस्कार मैम नमस्कार मैम है रिटायर्ड पीजीटी केमिस्ट्री समरविल इंटरनेशनल स्कूल नोएडा से है मैम तो मैम आपको गाइड करेंगी इस चैप्टर के बारे में कि क्या कुछ है इस चैप्टर के अंतर्गत लेकिन इससे पहले कि हम आज का ये सेशन स्टार्ट करें हम आपको बता देते हैं हमारे विभिन्न माध्यम कौन कौन से हैं किस तरह से आप इसमें पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं अपने फीडबैक हम तक पहुँचा सकते हैं तो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आप हमें कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं हमारे फ़ोन नंबर के माध्यम से आप नोट डाउन कर लीजिए हमारा फ़ोन नंबर है एट और यदि आप हमें ईमेल के माध्यम से हमसे संपर्क करना चाहते हैं तो आप वो भी नोट डाउन कर लीजिए हमारा ईमेल आईडी है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई इन पर और इस सत्र को हम शुरुआत करने जा रहे हैं लेकिन उससे पहले कि हम आपको एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट आपके साथ शेयर करना चाहते हैं वी आर प्राउड दैट इंडिया एज्यूम्ड the g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or the world is one family तो ये था प्रमुख अनाउंसमेंट और अब हम रुक करते हैं अपने सत्र की तरफ यानी हमारा ये जो सेशन है क्लास टेन के स्टूडेंट्स के लिए है और सब्जेक्ट है साइंस तो हम शुरुआत करते हैं इस सेशन की और रुक करते हैं मैम की तरफ तो प्रीति मैम ये कार्बन एंड एंड कंपाउंड्स हम पहले भी पढ़ चुके हैं लेकिन उसका पार्ट वन हमने एक पोर्शन का वर्क किया था और ये पार्ट सेकेंड है जिसमें हम बात करेंगे फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स एंड होमोलॉजिस्ट सीरीज के बारे में जी मैम सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन एंड नॉमन क्लेचर ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स एंड होमोलोगस सीरीज so first of all i want to discuss with you what i will be discussing with you we will be discussing functional groups we will be able to identify the different types of functional groups like halo group alcohol group aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid we will also be able to explain homologous series so now first we start with our topic functional group children as you know functional group is a hetero atom or a group of atoms and in hydrocarbon chain there are only two elements carbon and hydrogen as you know uh, suppose i make one alkane so this is which alkane this has three carbon atoms so this name will be started with prop and because all are single bonds it will be called propane now if one or more of hydrogen atom suppose i remove this hydrogen atom and in place of this hydrogen atom i add another group say oh so the compound will be this so this oh is the functional group and it will decide all the properties of this compound so there are many functional groups like alcoholic group this oh is the alcoholic group aldehyde group which is cho ketonic group which is c double bond o halo group which is x x can be fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine this is halogen group or it can be carboxylic acid that is cooh so these are 
functional groups which we will be discussing. Have you understood? Uh, ma'am, uh, please can you explain again ma'am, uh, mujhe thoda sa uh, samaj mein nahi aya. No problem, let me explain again. So children, you see here again, this is a hydrocarbon which has only two elements, carbon and hydrogen. If we remove one hydrogen and place another atom other than hydrogen and carbon like oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine or CO group or CHO group or COH group, then the properties of the compound will be changed completely and it does not matter on the length of the hydrocarbon chain. It depends only on the heteroatom. Heteroatom means the atom which is not hydrogen, which is not carbon, which is other than hydrogen and carbon and which replaces this hydrogen. So, this O is a heteroatom and this OH is a group of atoms which is attached to the hydrocarbon chain in a specific manner and in this manner the valency of the carbon remains satisfied. So, there is no change in the valency of the carbon, this heteroatom, this OH group now decides all the properties of this compound and whether there are 3 carbon atoms in the chain, 4 atoms or 5 atoms, the properties will change gradually. So, all the properties physical and chemical are decided by this OH group. So, this OH group is called the functional group. I think this is clear to yes, you. Yes ma'am, now it's so, clear. So, now you can see the properties as shown in the screen. So, in the hydrocarbon chain, one hydrogen or more than one hydrogen can be replaced by other atoms which can be oxygen, halogens or any other atoms, nitrogen and that atom which replaces hydrogen is called heteroatom and these heteroatom give specific properties to the compound and it does not matter on the length and nature of the carbon chain. So, these heteroatoms or group of atoms are called functional groups, clear? So, now we will discuss some important functional groups. So, first functional group is alcoholic group. Alcoholic group is OH. So, if it is attached in the carbon chain, the name will end with all. So, we can say the suffix of the compound will be all and prefix will depend on the length of the hydrocarbon chain. That means, if there is one carbon atom, the name will start with meth, two carbon atoms eth. As we have already discussed, if you have forgotten, you can see here on the screen, I have shown you if there is one carbon atom, name will start with meth, eth, prop and so on. So, you must remember these prefixes and these are the prefixes and suffix will be all as I have written on this. So, prefix is we can say it depends on the hydrocarbon chain. So, we can say an alkane. So, the general name of the compound will be alkanol. Alkanol. For example, if there is only one carbon atom, so methane has four hydrogen, one of the hydrogen is replaced by OH and there are three other hydrogen atoms. So, the name of the compound will be methanol. If there are two carbon atoms, two carbon atoms and one OH group, then the name will be ethanol. And so on. Right? So, this is alcoholic group. OH group is the alcoholic group. If we have to draw the electron dot structure, then you already know for one single bond, we draw two electrons. So, electron dot structure of methanol will be this. 
this is the electron dot structure of methanol and this is the structural detailed structure of the ethanol and we can also write CH3OH. Ethanol can also be written as CH3CH2OH. So, this is called condensed form and this is C as you know carbon has 4 valencies there are 4 bonds from each carbon atom. So, all the 4 valencies are satisfied. So, this is ethanol and methanol this is first functional group. Now, we come to the second functional group. Second functional group is halo compounds or halogen that means 1 x which we write as fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. These are halogens if they replace one hydrogen of the hydrocarbon chain then the compound is called halo compounds and here there is the prefix we use halo. Halo means if fluorine is there then we will write fluoro, if bromine is there we will write bromo, if chlorine is there we will write chloro and for iodine we will write iodo and suffix will be in. Now for example, when there is only one carbon we can say CH3Cl. So, what will be the name? Chloromethane. The name will be chloromethane. If two carbon atoms CH3, CH2, Br, the name will be what? Bromo because there is bromine so we will write the name bromo and because there are two carbon atoms we will write ethane. So, this is halo compound or halogen compound. So, halo com halogen atom is acting as the hetero atom and all the properties are decided by this halogen. Now, the next functional group is aldehyde. aldehyde is formula of the aldehyde is C double bond O and one side H and other side R and here R can be hydrogen or alkyl group. Alkyl group you know methyl, ethyl we have already discussed. So, first aldehyde is when R is H. So, H C H double bond O or we can say H C H O. Now, how to write the name? The name can be written here the suffix is L and prefix is alkane depending on the number of carbon right. So, there are only one carbon. So, the name will start with methane and the ending name will be L. So, the name of this compound will be methanol. If there are two carbon atoms what will be the name? it will be ethanol, 3 carbon atoms propanol right. So, ethanol what will be the structure? There will be 2 carbon atoms, here there will be C double bond O, there will be 1 H and 3 H here. So, this is ethanol or we can also say CH3 CHO right. So, this is ethanol and if we want to draw the electron dot structure you know that when there is a single bond there will be 2 electrons when there is a double bond 
there will be 4 electrons. So, the electron dot structure is this is for CH3, one more single bond here, one more single bond here and one double bond here. So, we will draw 4 electrons and O and O has 4 more electrons which are not participating in bonding. So, this is the electron dot structure of ethanol and this is the gen normal structure of ethanol. I hope you understood. Similarly, you will be able to write the name other names and formulas of propanol, butanol, pentanol, etc. You have to practice these. Okay? Now, we come to the next functional group that is ketone. Ketone also has the functional group C double bond O as in case of aldehyde. But what is the difference? Here the ketone, this carbon of CO is present between two alkyl groups R or R dash. R and R dash can be same or they can be different. So, what is R? R is an alkyl group. So, let us draw some ketones. The first ketone will be when both the alkyl groups have only one carbon atom. So, first alkyl group is CH3, then C double bond O and then again CH3. So, this is the first ketone. If we want to draw the detailed structure, we can say C double bond O, C 3 H and here also C and 3 H. As you can see, 4 valencies of carbon are satisfied 1, 2, 3, 4, here 1, 2 and this double bond and here 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we want to draw the electron dot structure, we can draw like this C, we can also draw it in one line C. C double bond O C. It can also be drawn like this. And to draw the electron dot structure, again you do the same thing single line, two electrons, double line, four electrons. So, it will be then oxygen has total 8 electrons now C H single bond H and single bond H. So, this is the electron dot structure of ketone. So, what will be the name? Now, name ending name or suffix for ketone is O N E and prefix is alkane. alkane depending on the number of carbon atom in the chain. So, there are 3 carbon atoms. So, the name will be propanone. Similarly, other ketones will be butanone, pentanone. Now, Try to draw the structures of butanone and pentanone. Let us draw butanone. Butanone means 4 carbon atoms and this CO bond cannot be present at the terminal carbon atom. It is always present in between. So, we draw C double bond O here. So, this will be CH3. Here, 2 lines are already there. So, this will be CH2 and this will again be CH3. So, butanone will be CH3, CH2, CO, CH3 and pentanone will be 5 carbon and then we can draw C double bond O, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So, this is pentanone. Any question coming to your mind? Yes, ma'am. Uh, can position of CO group can be different? Yes, now? very good question. See here, the CO group is present at carbon number 2. 
right from here it will be carbon number 4 but from here it is carbon number 2. So, we have to choose the smaller number. So, if we place CO here then the compound will be this. Right. Right. So, what is the difference? The position of the CO is different, but mm. the mo molecular formula total number of carbon and hydrogen are same. So, this is called pentane 2 ohm and the lower one is called pentane 3 ohm. This is pentane 2 ohm. Why 2? Because CO bond is CO group is present at carbon number 2 and here CO is present at carbon number 3. So, this is called pentane 3 ohm. Similarly, there will be hexanone, heptanone and depending on the position you can say hexane 2 mm. ohm, hexane 3 ohm and so on. So, this was about ketones. So, now next functional group is carboxylic acid. So, carboxylic acids have the functional group C double bond O, O and H. From here it is joining we can also say C O O H. Why this dash? This is not the ne negative sign the, that means from this carbon it is joined to the hydrocarbon chain. So, the suffix for carboxylic acid is oic acid O I C oic acid and prefix is alkene depending on the number of carbon atom. So, if the acid has one carbon atom then it is called methanoic acid. So, if there is only one carbon atom you can see in the functional group also one carbon is present. So, that means it will be attached to only a hydrogen. So, in general formula is R C O O H and R is hydrogen or alkyl group. So, if R is only hydrogen then the first acid is H C O O H. So, what will be the name? One carbon atom. So, name will start with meth and end with oic acid. So, the name will be methanoic acid. Clear? Similarly, you can say other acids. Next one will be having two carbon atoms. So, the name will be ethanoic acid. So, how will we write the name structure here? Here R will be having one carbon. So, it will be CH3 C O O H. Right? So, how we draw the detailed structure and the electron dot structure C H 3 C double bond O and O and H. So, this is the structure of ethanoic acid and electron dot structure will be again in the same way when there is a single bond you draw two dots, when there are double bond you draw four dots sorry here there will be two dots C then here will be four dots and single dot O and two dots H. So, this is the structure of here there are two dots not a line right. So, this is electron dot structure of carboxylic acid. So, we have discussed all the functional group we will just have a quick revision you can see here halogen group on the screen. Halogen group can be chlorine, bromine, iodine or fluorine etc. For example, chloromethane, bromoethane, iodomethane. Then alcohols you can say OH functional group CH3OH is methanol, C2H5OH or CH3CH2OH ethanol, C3H7OH or CH3CH2CH2OH propanol. Then aldehyde, methanol, ethanol and propanol and then ketone, propanone, butanone, pantanone, carboxylic acid, methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, propanoic acid and butanoic acid. 
Now, one question for you. In which of the following compounds OH is the functional group? Butanone, butanol, butanoic acid and butane. So, what will be the answer? OH functional group is present in alcohol. So, butanol is the right answer. Any question coming to your mind? Yes, ma'am. Uh, can two functional group be present in one compound, ma'am? Yes, that is an excellent question. Two functional group can be present. For example, COOH carboxylic acid and OH group. Two or more than two functional groups can be present in a compound CH3, CHOH, CH2, COOH. So, here this compound is having two functional groups yes, as you can yeah, see uh, yes, as I am writing see. here you can see two functional groups are present OH and COOH. So, the name of the compound will be you have to choose which is the main functional group COH is the main functional group and OH is the not so important functional group. So, the name of the compound is 3 hydroxy butanoic acid. Now, we come to the last part that is homologous series. Homologous series means a group of organic compounds which have the same general formula, which have similar properties, which have similar methods of preparation and they have same functional groups. Such a series of compound is called homologous series. So, homologous series can be represented by a single general formula like you know alkanes can be represented by CnH2n plus 2, alkenes CnH2n and so on. And the two adjacent members differ by a formula of CH2 unit. Homologous series are so many like alkanes, alkene, alkynes and all the functional groups form homologous series. Some examples of homologous series as you can see here alkane series alkene series, alkyne series, halogens also form homologous series and one more question, last question which of the following does not belong to the same homologous series? What do you see? CH4 it is an alkene, CnH2n plus 2, C2H6 is an alkene, C3H8, CnH2n plus 2 is also an alkene, C4H8 is an alkene. So, C4H8 does not belong to the same homologous series. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the session. Yes, ma'am and thank you so much for this session, ma'am. It is time to wind up the session and uh, thank you so very much uh, for teaching this subject carbon and its compound. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Namaskar. And dear students and learners, before we wind up this session, we want to uh, share a very important announcement with you. We are proud that India assumed G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbagam or the world is own family. So, this announcement we wanted to do with you and with this, we will be able to do this with you today. But you will be able to do this with these video channels because now there are many informative and educative sessions. So, you will be able to do this with these video channels and give us a chance. Namaskar.